I'm Kelly Eckerman with continuing coverage of breaking news out of Lenexa, where a massive search continues for a gunman. Now, this is in the area of K7 and Prairie Star Parkway. That's where a gunman shot at a Lenexa police officer. The officer was in a marked vehicle running radar. The vehicle was hit. The officer was not hurt. K7 shut down now while police search for that shooter. KMBC 9's Eli Rosenberg gathering new details near the crime scene. Eli? Yeah, Kelly, we have our best vantage point yet of what happened here this morning. We are right along K7. You can see over my shoulder here it's shut down. Now, based on what we've been told by police about what happened starting around 10:10 this morning, we believe this is the patrol car right here. You can see the car is parked by itself. Police telling us around 10:10 this morning this Lenexa police officer was running radar and that is when his back window was shot out. Now, since we've been here over the last 10 minutes, we have seen no one get anywhere near this patrol car that is parked right here. The police telling me that this officer was running radar right off the ramp right there. So what you're seeing, that ramp right there, is Prairie Star Parkway. Quite a bit of police, and you can see that fire truck there as well, parked on Prairie Star as this investigation continues and as this search continues. You can see the highway shut down as well. What you're not seeing right here is the massive perimeter that's been set up really at about a mile all around this highway as they search for this gunman. As we've been driving around, we've seen officers with their guns out all looking into the woods. And I talked to this man who was driving by a little after 1010, so a little bit after all this happened. And he said as he drove past that police car, his first inkling that something was wrong was the fact that the car was parked there without its lights on. He said he looked again and he saw the officer crouch down by his car with his gun out looking into the woods right there. Police tell me they believe the shot came from the back and you can see some more vehicles approaching the scene right here. Now, as for the search in the perimeter, there are several schools in the area, including one very within this perimeter. I'm told those schools are in lockdown. They have a helicopter overhead, and they continue to search for this gunman. That search now past the two-hour mark. Live in Lenexa, Eli Rosenberg, KNBC 9 News. And Johnny Rollins has been covering this search for us from News Chopper 9. He has another perspective for us. Johnny? There's your police presence right there, top of the ramp from... Uh, uh, Prairie or to Prairie Star Parkway, I should say, from southbound K7, and no traffic on K7 right now, as you can see. We check out this car along the side of the road. That's the one we believe may have been involved in this, but from the air, we cannot tell. Certainly, the back window is not broken out, or the back windshield, if you will. Uh, whether or not it's uh, the side windows, we don't know. Couldn't tell. Uh, we did see some police with a K9 unit down here a moment ago, but uh, let me tell you that very early on in this, we heard of perhaps uh, that they were looking for a white truck. Uh, with uh, maybe some PVC pipe in the back of it. Well, uh, nothing has come of that, but we have been following this one police vehicle that came off of uh, some SWAT team or tactical team members, came off the highway and into a field that we are over right now. This is about a quarter mile off of K-7, way to the north of uh, where the suspected shooting uh, occurred, and uh, they thought it was going to be to the south of that. However, here we are, and we thought maybe they were taking a look at that white pickup truck that was parked here. Right now, it does not seem to be any interest in that uh, at all. So uh, we're still wondering what they're doing here just off Monticello, where a perimeter is set up on the east side here, east of K-7, as uh, they continue to uh, look for the suspected shooter. Johnny Rollins, News Chopper 9, back to you in the studio. All right, Johnny, and again, a huge police presence there as that search for the gunman continues. We do want to remind you that K-7 is closed northbound and southbound between 83rd and K-10. While they continue this search, we'll continue to monitor the situation, bring you the latest developments here on KMBC at KMBC.com and on our KMBC 9 News app.